it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 21st so what do we got what do we got for around the 21st we got the hangman reversed and the four of swords reversed so this is really, really, really struggling. We have somebody here that is refusing to go in. They're struggling to let go. They're obsessed with control, hiding something, missing an opportunity. Four of extremely exhausted. Four of swords reversed, extremely tired, extremely exhausted overwhelmed we have somebody here that is absolutely overwhelmed refusing to change too this person will not change very much stuck in their ways and it's killing them because this person is so stubborn so we have somebody here that is very 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 stubbornness and their stubbornness is killing them okay this is, is feeling isolated. This is health issues. This is stress. The Four of Swords reversed, and it's extreme when it's, and this is extremes, okay? Both of these are in reversed. So we have somebody here that is really, really, really struggling internally. Stubborn as hell. This is obsessed with control. Obsessed. seven of swords there's deception here take a look at this guy looking over here at her while he's with his girl so there's some sort of dece deception here Now this is this is self deception as well. So this is this is an individual that is very very uh, egotistical. I mean, the hangman reverse is somebody that is very very egotistical. Now this is some. Uh, she's got her eyes closed. Doesn't even see that her man has his eye on somebody else. So that's what we got here. We got, we got, there's, there's some definitely not interested, not really interested. This is a sly son of a gun. So we have a sly son of a gun that is interested in, you know, somebody else. Very sneaky. Very, very sneaky. This one's blind. Totally blind. Could we dealing with the Pisces? This guy is watching somebody else. Well, she's asleep. At the, she doesn't even realize it. This person doesn't even realize that her man is interested in somebody else or her person. Now, this could go vice versa, too. It could be, you know, man, woman, whatever however it plays out in your situ situation. There's a third-party situation here. Somebody's not happy but struggling to let go of the one that they're with. They're with somebody and holding on, because this is hanging on, hanging on to somebody that they're, that is, uh, they're hurting, because now we have the Three of Swords. They're hurting another person. This person doesn't care, very egotistical. So this egotistical SOB is hurting this person who is completely clueless anyway. I'm sorry to say it's a clueless individual. Maybe she's maybe she's just choosing not to see, you know? I'm gonna live in fantasy land. That could be the case. Anyhow, the three of swords reversed. We got a three of swords, period. This individual seriously doesn't care if this person's being hurt because of their ego. And this is very, very frustrated. Hmm. It can't let go because of ego. This one right here, uh, it feels like this is like some sort of, uh, no, I can't think of the word for it. it. begins with V. 
it's not Vixen, it's something else. Uh, did I end the tip of my tongue? Whatever. Anyway, this one is very, very cunning. Knows what she's doing, too. She knows what she's doing. Thinks it's funny. Ooh, Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. So this is confined. Trapped. This one may be trapped. You notice the same got purple. We may have an individual that is trapped. They're trapped in a situation. Maybe there's a child involved or something like that. Uh, there's some sort of sickness here as well. This is illness and this is illness. And it could be mental illness, okay? Swords, 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 swords. So there could be a mental illness here. Could have like somebody that is mentally ill. They seriously don't care. And it is on the head, so it could, we could have somebody here that is mentally ill. This could be like a psychopath or a sociopath or somebody that is definitely egotistical. I mean, the hangman is uh, somebody that breaks the law, typically. Five of Pentacles reversed. Now this is a hardship, financial hardship. Victim mentality, abandonment. Struggling to let go of the one they're with. Really, really interested in somebody else feeling sick, maybe feeling dead and empty inside. Somebody is feeling empty inside, dead inside. Or they're feeling sick, or the stress is killing them, or the stress is making them sick. Or they're dealing with an individual that is mentally ill, or all of the above, which is probably the case. Maybe, maybe this person is hanging on to the third party or the other one because they take care of them, just because they take care of them. You know, they doctor them, they take care of them, they nurse them. They're really looking at somebody else and they really want somebody else, but, you know, the other person's taking care of them. That's why they're staying there. They're stuck, obviously. They're sacrificing. They're sacrificing themselves. <laughs> Now the Five of Pentacles reversed. Um, this is a turning point. There's an unhealthy relationship. This is feeling disgraced. There's security issues here. Or there's a security, I don't know what it is. Insecure, insecurities. Ooh, I was going to say it's really cold because of the snow. And that is definitely really cold. There's the Queen of Swords is nasty. The Queen of Swords in reversed. She's nasty. This is a, this is a, somebody that is wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. This is like a wicked mother, a wicked ex, wicked stepmother. Um, very, very harsh, very assertive, very brash. Not somebody to mess with. Um... I think it's this person right here. I don't know. But this Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords in reversed is uh, somebody that is hard to love, hard to deal with. Nasty, selfish. We definitely have a selfish individual here, male or female that really doesn't care very very cold very male or female a very cold-hearted individual that really doesn't care about the other person's feelings at all very much very self-centered there's some sort of betrayal that is going to piss somebody off somebody's going to get pissed off I'm telling you what, you piss this person off and all hell is going to break loose. 
And this third party may not know. This, you know, it's interesting. This may be, this could be, so, this person has no idea who they're dealing with. This one doesn't, is not aware. But when she becomes aware, you better watch out. I'm telling you what, this is beware. It really is. Beware. Seven of Swords, beware. Somebody could really get upset. And if you're dealing with a Queen of Swords in reverse, you, uh aren't very smart just saying anyhow um, I'm just saying okay the Queen of Swords in reverse she doesn't there's no stopping her when she is pissed her or him or whoever it is it's like I don't care about your feelings it's about revenge it is about revenge ace of Pentacles this is a golden opportunity Okay, the now the queen of this is somebody that is is lonely and is hard to deal with. Maybe grabbing on to an opportunity. Now this is uh, the five of pentacles in reverse. That is a major loss, total ruin. Oh my God, we could have an individual that totally ruins somebody that cheated or somebody that betrayed them and does whatever they got to do to ruin them. So this is a golden opportunity to ruin somebody. And I'm, I'm just being honest with you. This is somebody that is very spiteful. So we have a spiteful individual who uh, you need to be careful of. This is uh, a trap of some sort. The Eight of Swords is some sort of trap. Somebody, and this is like uh, planning and the Seven of Swords is planning. It really is. Somebody is planning. They're plotting something. They're plotting something. They are to do something behind somebody's back and they could this is like I don't know I feel like it's coming out of hiding coming out of, I don't know where that's coming from I don't have the hermit but because um, this coming out of hiding this is hiding as well I feel like somebody is coming out of hiding or something like that eight of pentacles putting in effort proving proving making something somebody is making something they're working really 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 hard somebody is working really really hard at uh something what are they doing this is this is uh a perfectionist this is definitely a perfectionist it has to do with money somebody is you know working really really hard at trying to get money something like that very very skilled we have a very hard hard worker here that is very skilled at whatever they do princess of wands reverse now this is the paid this is bad news this is bad news Page of Wands reversed is bad news. This is uh, a setback of some sort. And this is mean spirited. This is somebody that is mean spirited that uh, doesn't have good intentions. sick this is sick I think we have somebody here that has some mental health problems I'm just being honest some mental it could be a, a psychopath like I said I'm not trying to scare anybody but I think we have somebody here that has some mental health problems that is planning on uh, doing something to somebody that betrayed them 
this person may be focusing on their work, their work in a way, they got an individual that really isn't happy, isn't happy with an outcome. This, this is, it feels like we have somebody here that is, is plotting and planning. They're very, very frustrated. There could be some jealousy issues. This person may be, may be fan, financially insecure. They're trying to they're trying to build up their security to prove themselves to somebody. But this is failure to launch. This is somebody that doesn't have a lot of drive, doesn't have a lot of ambition. Doesn't follow through. Takes a lot of breaks, you know. Maybe always sick, you know. We could have somebody here that is always sick, you know. They're always sick. That's why they're not successful. Um, the world. Now the world is a major completion. It's the end of a of a of a phase. This is uh, accomplishment. Learning a lesson. Some, and some. This is teaching. Somebody is maybe trying to teach somebody a lesson. Somebody is trying to teach somebody a lesson. Somebody's about to learn a lesson. Put it that way. This is a lesson learned. Somebody is about to learn a lesson. There could be a change of residence. This is uh, a completion of a cycle. It's the end. It's the end of something. It's the end of well, this Eight of Swords of being trapped. So, and I know I'm changing the story, but putting in effort. This is no energy. This is lack of energy. Somebody may be giving up. Okay, they're giving up. Somebody may be giving up. Maybe they're completing. They're completing that cycle because this is obsession. So somebody may have been obsessed with hanging on to a third party. They may have been in denial. And now they're, they're letting go. They're letting go. They're letting go. That they are. They're letting go. They've reached the point of... You know, this is the death of a person or idea, you know what I mean? It's, it's a dead end. So somebody, that, that hangman reverse is letting go. No more hanging on. They've, they've come to realization that, they, they, that they've been in denial. Somebody is going to be working hard to focus on the future. And that's what they're doing now. It feels like they're working hard to focus on the future. This is giving up. On being a victim because this is victim and this is victim being a victim somebody is giving up on being a victim and this is a totally a victim somebody chose to be a victim chose not to see chose to keep their eyes closed to keep their eyes closed there's a nasty individual here that really 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 doesn't care this person has no feelings whatsoever for the person that is has been trying to get them to see you know what I mean this one doesn't care it's like I don't care I don't care at all has totally abandoned the situation has has completely uh, moved on okay this person is like <laughs> no not interested totally not interested um, Mm. We have a sneaky, shady individual that has been deceiving maybe themselves. And this one may have been in deception as well. Maybe somebody was choosing not to see and they were choosing not to open their eyes because you can open your eyes at any freaking minute. So somebody was choosing not to see what their partner was really doing. And I think now they're going to open their eyes and they're going to see it. it's really going to piss them off. And when it pisses them off, they choose to let go. They choose to leave the past behind and focus on the future. It's over. This is, it's over. I'm not putting in any more effort. I don't have any more desire to do this. It's been making them sick. It has. This is like sick to my stomach.
now they're going to be putting in effort to to complete this chapter of their lives. They've learned their lesson. This is a lesson learned about, you know, enlightenment, accepting the truth, going with the flow. When it's over, it's over. Why hang on to a dead end? The Four of Swords is a dead end. Upright or reverse. It's a fucking dead end. And this is hanging on to a dead end. Somebody has been hanging on to a dead end. Why? Because they don't want to be alone. And it's an ex. Or somebody, you know, that should be an ex. There's a golden opportunity here. This Ace of Pentacles is, this is the power, okay? It's like God is giving you the power. You need to accept reality. This is a reality check. This is a blessing. Somebody is receiving a new opportunity to build a new solid foundation, okay? This is a gift. Consider it a gift. This is manifestation as well. This is a turning point. This is a gift. Consider it a fucking gift. Excuse my language, but that's how the Queen of Swords talks and reversed. I can't stop it from happening, okay? It's a gift. And maybe that's realizing, because this is a reality check. Somebody is realizing that... And whether it's a male or a female, they're realizing that, they're realizing the reality, okay? This is a reality check. One more card. Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of Wands is uh, challenging. Perseverance. Somebody was holding out. They were. They were determined. They were determined. Willing to do whatever it takes. But I feel like they've reached the point. I feel like they have reached the point where, you know, the five of cups on the bottom. Where they realize that there's nothing they can do. They can't they can't change it. This is, this is, uh, it's over. There's nothing left. All five cups are spilled. There's nothing left. This is realizing there's nothing left. This is sadness. This is, this is despair. It's like, oh my God, there's nothing left. There's nothing left. I realize there's, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, this is a, this is a sad situation. Okay, somebody's realizing the truth. This, this is the, somebody is realizing the truth. There's nothing left to do but start over. So I feel like um, we have an individual here that has done everything they can. They've put in all the effort they can. They've tried to prove themselves. Uh, they've done everything they can to uh, get somebody to basically see their worth. But no matter what they do, there is a third party that is more, or whoever they're dealing with is an interested. So I feel like on the 21st or thereabouts, right around, there's going to be a completion. This is a completion. It's over. This is a completion. It's the it's the end. It is the end. There could be a change of residence. Somebody, you know, gives up. They move. They, they get out of bed. They stop moping. They stop crying. They get up and they walk away. This is freedom. The world card is freedom.
So anyway, right around the 21st, somebody is about to realize, and there is, this is realization, somebody is about to realize that whoever it is that they were waiting for, and they've been waiting. They absolutely have been waiting and sulking in the whole nine yards. They ain't coming. They ain't coming. They aren't interested. You're on your own. And this is you're on your own. The Nine of Wands is you're on your own. And the next card is the Ten of Wands. Time to let go. Somebody is letting go. They are letting go. Because they're 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 they've been ignoring they've been ignoring the right one. Focused on the wrong one. And this is like realizing. And it's the end. It's the end of uh, pretending. It is. It's the end. It's the end of ignorance. It's standing up. And completing this Lesson. Good luck.